So you install the latest firmware for your Axe FX3, but did you know that there's updated factory presets too? Stick around, I'll show you where they are and how to update them. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. I'm Doug B and I really do appreciate you spending some of your time at my channel. The guys at Fractal Audio just keep on doing their amazing work. You know, not only have they made the 16th version of the firmware, they've updated it now a few times, and they've also updated the presets. Now, if you don't know about the firmware update, take a look at episode one. That'll uh, basically tell you what's going on there and how to update your firmware. Now... Last week's video ran a little bit longer than what I had anticipated, so I will try to make this one short and sweet, but please stick around to the end because I do have a little present to give you for hanging out, and uh, I think you'll like it. If you watched episode one, you probably have already downloaded the updated preset files. Just in case you didn't, let's go to fractalaudio.com. Go up here to support, drop down to downloads, go over here to Axe FX3 and click on it. Here you'll find all sorts of files that you can download. The owner's manual, the blocks guide, the latest firmware, the updated factory presets, and the USB files for Windows users. If you're using Windows, please check out episode 1 for information about installing the USB files. So after you finish downloading the files, if you're on Windows, install the USB drivers. Mac users can skip this part. I know you're all hyped up to install those new presets, but uh, yeah, let's be practical and back up the system first. Why? Well, same as what I mentioned in episode one. If there's any problems, you can always go to your backup and restore your system and you'll be back up and running. So, uh, refer to episode one on how to do the backup. So, and, and if you already did it by following episode one, you don't need to do it again right now. Guys, if you like what you're seeing here, would you go ahead and leave a thumbs up and maybe, you know, lightly tap that subscribe button. No need to smash anything unless you're on that Pete Townsend kick. Thanks much. Much appreciated. Okay, now it's time to update the factory presets. Go to your Downloads folder, double-click on the Presets zip file, and it will create a Presets folder. Click on the arrow next to the Preset folder name, and you'll see that it has four files. Bank C, Bank B, Bank A, and All Banks. This gives you choices for updating your presets. You can update a single bank, two sets of banks, or all three banks. You'll be using FractalBot for this process, so if you don't already have it installed, go back to Fractal Audio, go up to Support, go down to Downloads, go over here and click on FractalBot. As you can see, there are versions for Mac, Windows, and then there's the manual available. Download the version that's right for your computer, and when the download has finished, install the app. Open FractalBot, then click on the Select Device drop-down menu, and choose Axe FX3. If everything is connected correctly, you'll get three green check marks. Okay, now click on Send Mode. You'll be sending the presets to the FX3. Now you'll want to select the file to send, so click on Browse. Mine are in my Downloads folder. Gotta go there. Over here. And I am going to choose All Banks. Click Open, and then click Begin. Again, this could take a few minutes. All right, job well done. You can install another bank of presets if you're updating two banks. If you're done with updating your presets, you'll have to power down your FX3 for a minimum of five seconds before turning it on again. 
Now this is the part where I would have inserted a five second clip from Genesis extolling you to turn it on, turn it on, turn it on again. But the kind folks at YouTube say I shouldn't do that. So there you have it. <laughs> oh, oh, geez, okay. And there we go. Turn the FX3 back on and you're good to go. Now plug your guitar in and rock out. Here's a minute's worth of some of the updated presets. Hope you enjoy my hack playing because, uh, yeah, it's, uh, let, let, I, I need some new strings. I could probably use some new fingers. But uh, anyway, enjoy or laugh. It's up to you. <laughs> Okay, before you go, remember that little present I talked about at the beginning of the video? This, this really is pretty freaking cool. The folks at Fractal Audio have created a preview set of enhanced presets for Cygnus, and they aren't available on the regular downloads page, but I have a link for you that I'll put in the description. The presets will continue to get improved and I'll provide links for the updated files. Right now it's only the first 50 presets that have been updated. Hey guys, thanks for staying all the way to the end. I really appreciate it. So, how did it go for you? Did you give it a try? It should be fairly easy, right? And look, if, if you had any problems, drop me a line, you know, leave me a comment, and I will uh, see what I can do to help. And if you have any other ideas of things that uh, you're interested in, let me know. I'll look them up and hopefully put them in uh, an upcoming episode. All right, guys. Thanks much. See you next week. Have a good one.